Well, my name is Norman Uphoff, and I've been a professor here at Cornell since 1970. In terms of this innovation, the system rights intensification, I would say I didn't choose it, it more or less chose me. Uh, in 1993, I went to Madagascar, and the yields of farmers were very, very poor, about two tons per hectare, and they were not able to feed themselves simply with the irrigated land they had where they did conventional production. So they were doing slash and burn cultivations of the jungle area, which was very devastating to the biodiversity there. So our task was to help farmers find alternatives to slash and burn. Uh, when I got back to the capital city, I was told about a small NGO called Association Tevisina, which has worked with these methods which Father Launier had uh, developed. Uh, he found that if you plant only single seedlings, not three, four, five together like farmers do all around the world, the roots can grow, tillers can come. So you get a much more productive plant, even then three, four, five plants together, which inhibit each other. So that was the first thing. He found out if you keep flooding the fields all the time, like farmers usually do, you suffocate the roots. And if you use a weed control method of a mechanical weeder, which turns the soil up, so you aerate the soil, which makes the roots grow bigger and better, and also encourages the aerobic organisms, which are very beneficial for the plant's growth. We arranged for them to uh, uh, try these methods with the farmers around the Ronald Mafon rainforest. And lo and behold, the first year they averaged eight tons instead of two tons different countries, we've been able to show the effect of SRI in uh, over 50 countries now. What I expect is we're going to see uh, more and more farmers using these ideas, adapting them, um, taking them maybe into new crops, uh, which we hope for. And so in Bihar, I remember when I visited, some women very proudly showed me their eggplant SRI, where they take ideas of wide spacing, you know, of organic matter in the soil, soil aeration, and getting much better yields. More and more we found people in China, Indonesia, India, Thailand, Philippines, and so forth who got similarly excited by these possibilities, which once we put them to the test in the field, they proved themselves.